I opened up my project folder and uh, I don't know if you guys could see anything, but just to be sure, I was like, all right, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna fucking head out right the fuck now. God, I'm so stupid. I have this whole fucking system where I show like, do the things that don't actually open up my project folder. And then what do you do? Just Why not just open up the project folder right in front of everyone to see with all the fucking raven legs and fucking raven feet. Oh my God. But yeah, I don't know if you guys could even see anything because I, I know I, I noticed it. I think I noticed it really fast. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna try to see if I can look back and see if, if there's a, any uh, nudity in that at all. God, that fucking scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. Did you, could you guys? I'm sorry, this is just really important to me, you know? It's my fucking whole Twitch thing is, is on the line. I didn't know I didn't open anything bad. I didn't, but I just the thumbnails of the project folders. See like this is what a thumbnail of a project folder looks like. You gotta show, make sure not to accidentally show anything lewd again. See this is this is like how thumbnail folders look like. And so, if there's something very lewd in it, you can kind of tell, but you have to look really hard. That's why I just wanted to be absolutely sure. Do it again? Fuck that, dude. It almost gave me a heart attack. I'm too old. I'm too old for this shit. I can't do this shit anymore. There's too much excitement for me. Heavens, heavens. Lord, Lord. Uh, I gotta take a breather. <laughs> Where was I? Why, why to remove the search bar on my site? Uh, there was there was something weird with the code of it. Uh, it, it was it's making certain things not show up properly, and then I just removed it, and I never solved the problem. I think it's solved by now because there was a search engine update to that particular thing I was using. But at the same time, I was just thinking, if people really want to look for something, you could actually just type in if you have Safe Search typed off, uh, turned off. You could just type in that chat base. On Google like, like let's say for example you're looking for Raven drawings you type in Raven shad base on Google and there's a bunch of shad base stuff that's gonna show up guys is doom or hard can't take it anymore yeah dude that is too much fucking you know what next time I ask you guys can I show you something should I show you how this looked like just say no just say I don't I don't want to see that shit just so I can keep working on sh stuff. Just say, I don't care. Don't show me stuff. Don't open your project folder ever again. I oh, thank you, game dude. Now, I doubt that Joff is still here after all that time, but this was sketched because of him, and uh, I'm going to be uploading it as a little bonus below this new page once I finished it. As a little bonus just for anybody who wasn't in the stream also. So it's not a complete, so it's not like a complete uh, toss away. Do you remember the Moxie I sketched on stream? Uh, the Mad Moxie, actually, speaking of Borderlands? That was sketched in the exact same way. The only difference is with the Moxie is instead of how I spent, uh, like... It's hard to say now because I ended the stream and restarted it. But I think it was about, about like 40 minutes on this, I think, on this sketch. So far, I think. I think I'm being generous at 40 minutes, actually. It's probably more like 
30, 30 or something? I'm gonna say 40, I forgot. But uh, with the Moxie one, I spent like literally hours on the same thing in the stream. I spent hours just on Moxie, which is why she ended up looking so like more refined. Did you hear that Doom Eternal and Matt Masquerade 2 got delayed? I heard that Doom Eternal got delayed. And you know what? Uh, when games get delayed, there's nothing wrong with that, I think, personally. Because it's not like you guys are gonna not get Doom Eternal because it got delayed if you wanted Doom Eternal. So think about all they're really doing is making it better. Most games that are ended up being really great were delayed at, like, hell. Half-Life 2 was delayed so many times. Half-Life 2, I think, was really delayed also because of a hack or something that happened, like a, a breach in company, a leak or something, it was majorly delayed. What's that saying that Miyamoto says that like a rushed game is gonna be bad forever and a delayed like a game is gonna be good. Something like that. I'm probably butchering it, but you know what I mean. It's not like you guys nowadays have a shortage of shooters to play. I mean, come on. There's a Fortnite. Oh, I mean, there's a. There's. What is there nowadays to play? Overwatch? Oh. Yeah, Boycott Blizzard. Um, what else is there? Anthem? Oh, yeah, no. Also, Fallout 76? Uh, no, nah, not that one. Um, let's see here. Oh, Apex Legend. Oh, no, not that one. I guess you don't have that much to play, shooter-wise. Rainbow Six Siege. What's wrong with Rainbow Six Siege? Nothing, right? Give Tina own page. I don't have an idea for Tina unless you just want a straight up porn page. I'm actually gonna be doing straight up porn pages again. You guys remember the workout page? That was pretty much uh, like a kind of a, a sign of what porn pages are gonna look like. Where a straight up porn page is just gonna be a panel of panels, panels mashed together, mashed into each other of pure porn. Just not even just nudity and lewd imagery but the workout page still had a little structure tying it together thinking of even skipping that with some of these but we'll see now actually i shouldn't skip that because that is that is fun to have like a little structure to tie it all in together i think you guys prefer that over just porn right have like a little structure to it if you know what i mean Near Automata was an amazing game and I require more. Near Auto yeah, a lot of people seem to like that game. I could not get into it. So besides that little hiccup we had earlier, this stream didn't uh, didn't go too badly. I think we got some we didn't get much progress done in the thing, but I'm going to get some progress done in it in a second. We still have a little more time, I think. I want to get there before 6 for sure, so we got a little bit of time. Yeah, this is... Uh, we were listening to 80s stuff. Yeah, all, this is all boomer stuff. All of this is boomer stuff. This entire playlist. We have modern music all the time in this stream. Today is boomer time. You can also give her little fingernails right here. See how she has little pink fingernails here? I don't know if she actually has those in the game, does she? I'm actually not sure. I'd imagine she does. I remember it for some reason, her having that. Now with the arms. But how arms kind of work is that they're kind of, they have like this muscle. Obviously this isn't a, like absolutely correct. But they have this kind of muscle in their arm right here.
remove her tits and make her a trap. But what's the point of drawing Tiny Tina, the adult Tiny Tina, without tits? She grew tits now. Yeah, I mean, you know, I always struggle with drawing arms and I studied them and now I kind of understand them better. So the way they work is that they have that little muscle right there and the elbow, uh, it kind of pokes out. Like, think of the elbow being like this bone. Like, you know, if, if this were like a, think of it being like a bone in there, and there's like two bones in here, and then fat on it. That's how I think of arms now. I used to just think of arms as like a noodles. There's a slight curve there too. There's a slight curve to arms actually. And there's also the biceps, of course. It's one of the most famous muscles. Even people who don't even know about muscles, of course, know what a biceps is. Everybody's heard of a biceps. A thyroid might be a different uh, issue. Now her arm here. If I if I, if I were to picture her naked, right? Which is why I drew that raven thing I showed earlier for those who were like, like as if she were naked so I can then add stuff upon it because if you want to do things absolutely correct it's really like sometimes helpful to draw them as if they were naked. Obviously this one isn't correct but we can like check if she were naked maybe this would be more like this and this would be more like this. So you can kind of like that's what I also do sometimes think of like what would they look like if they were naked if I draw them with all this shit on. And then I think, hmm, that looks kind of weird, that looks kind of wrong. I mean, this, this would probably be more somewhere like here. And you look at that, you really look at that, right? And uh, keep in mind, this isn't realistic. This is my fucking, like, shad interpretation of a female body. So she has, like, big tits, this fucking, these, like, weird fucking hips and is strangely skinny. But uh, if you see this now, so you have to kind of do this over it. What you can do is take this layer, get that shit out of here. Layer, I said get out of here. Go up there. Come on, layer. The fuck is this? What the hell is this? Some kind of music video? Fuck off. Shut up. Shut up with your music videos. Okay, let's go, let's go to this instead. Is too, did you guys see too mad? What about too, what, what about too mad? So you can kind of take that layer out of here. And now that that layer is out of here, you kind of got it towering over this. And now you can just go in here. Look at this, guys. It's almost like I'm cheating, isn't it? It's almost cheating, but it's not. It's not cheating because I did draw this all myself. But I'm just adjusting my drawing now because I notice I've made little mistakes. I know I couldn't do this on pen and paper. I'd have to get a big ass eraser and fucking do shit again. But hey, what do we got digital art for? We can't fucking use it. I'm gonna exaggerate her head a bit. I like exaggerating big heads, but you gotta make be careful not to make them like look like a lolly. But I like exaggerated big heads. I like that. Cause like cartoony. Guys, and the fun part also about painting stuff like this is imagine the versions you can do. Just the versions you can do in private without showing anybody. Imagine all the possibility of versions. What do you think about our tits? Do they look right to you? 
Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know what's wrong. Yeah, 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 I was meant to fix that. This is wrong. This is fucking wrong as fuck. Oh, I was meant to fix that. See, I even fixed it in the, in the sketch there. There, that was wrong. See that? Much better now. There we go. Perhaps even a bit lower. I mean, you know what, what I mean with sketches, it's not going to be rendered. I still want it to look properly. I just don't want to render it. Because it's not part of anything, any project or anything I'm doing, so... Like, I don't like to render random little things I do, because the rendering part is, unfortunately, one of the things that will eat up so much of your time. I just do comics like this and just so I can skip the rendering. We also don't want to do that if people are going to think you're lazy. Now guys, another thing that, another phase you can do with sketches like this is, uh, when you think about the, uh, the lighting and all of that, the way things are sh light, like, the light is dropping in and the shading of things. You can try to think of where would there be a lot of light because there's right now the shading is like a two color shading. There's a dark side and a light side, but essentially it's just two colors that sometimes kind of blend into each other. And this stomach looks fucking bad. How do how do stomachs look? I think the black sketchy line in the cleavage isn't curved enough. It looks like it's spilling in other or making it look bigger. Very good, very good observation. I think you're, you as right as you said that, I look over and I immediately see what you mean. That is some pristine criticism right there. I'm gonna fix that right now. See? No, you know what? I'm actually, just because of you, I'm gonna do this even differently. I'm gonna do it without adding a line. You'd be like, Chad, that looks too flat, dude. Add a line. Oh, oh, you think I'm not gonna add something? First, we add this. And now, watch this, guys. Where's there's gonna be a lot of light? On the titties, of course, because she's wearing a, a white t shirt in the middle of the sun on Pandora. The sun is gonna reflect off of her t shirt. So, what we're gonna do is. One sunspot. Actually, that's not sun, that's more just whiteness. Sun is more yellow, more orange. One sunspot. That looks horrible, that's not like real sun. So what we do is, we make it a shine layer. A shine layer. That looks more like sun to me now. Now sun usually kinda leaves a bit of a soft, a soft edge to its light sometimes when it hits these white, smooth surfaces. So we're gonna add that like this. Make it look a little like this, and now we gotta find that middle point. Let's find that middle point right here somewhere. Find it. It's gonna be here, somewhere right here, I believe. Somewhere right here. And now we're gonna go in there. We're really gonna start feeling up our titties. This would all this would actually make a nice wet t-shirt version. You know what? I'm gonna make this a wet t-shirt version. I'm gonna make this off stream, I'm gonna paint a wet t-shirt on her. And now look at that, without a line, we've established two bosoms, without even drawing a line. Isn't that crazy? No, it's actually not that crazy, but I hope it looks somewhat right. Actually, no, I'm not sure. But I think that kind of corrected the line, I think. What we could also do is make this actually a bit more uh, curvy here. This is, I just love this about this overpainting thing, is that I keep getting, I just can like really shape thing. It almost feels like I'm sculpting this shit like this instead of drawing it. It's like you're sculpting it out of paint. I love that feeling because you just really get to kind of have fun with it, you know? Kind of like really get into it and try to feel it out and really find those female forms. That is, it, it is, one of the most, that's why it's the most fun thing to draw, really. Bad, 
and now we can even do like this, guys. We can go into fucking Omega Omega mode and add fucking shit like this in there. Look at that. What's going on here? Now she's wearing a shirt, isn't she? Oh, now she's a naughty girl wearing a shirt. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna do the nipples, but I'm gonna do the nipples off stream. I'm gonna do actually do the nipples off stream. I will. Pink panties is the best. Oh, you like the pink panties? Could they use a logo or something? I think they could use a little logo on them or something. I think personally. A bunny? China logo? I mean, a Chinese flag? Is <laughs> she gonna become a he off stream? No, I'm not gonna do that version. Come on. So what we do now is um, we can add a little bit of good. I I said I said I would fucking not I, I would work on Starfire and Raven again, but now this just became too much fun to work on. See, this, that, that's what happens. I, I, you just get sucked in. I just get sucked in. I can't stop. I literally am unable to fucking stop this right now. I just can't do it. It's about that journeyman. Absolutely, my dude. That guy gets it. That guy gets it. It's not about the destination. I do think though, af after the stream, I gotta go somewhere real quick to pick something up, uh, hence the text I got earlier. And then I will uh, focus completely off stream for, what time is it? For several hours on that uh, page and hopefully get it to a point where I can then just uh, finish it tomorrow. I really need to get all Starfires done all Starfire's done. I gotta draw a Jinx as well for one of the panels. And then I still gotta add some text. Some sound effect stuff. Close-up panel or two. Definitely one close-up panel. Maybe two close-up panels. Maybe three. And then start polishing it. So... If I can get all the Starfires done and the Jinx done today, I'll be able to polish it for the most part and add more details tomorrow. So we should still be within the time limit. See, I kind of really got to be honest with myself and think about what's left to do. The most difficult part about the page is done, and that is the Raven panel overall. Because this panel is the background, and Raven is going to be in every single page in that pose because she's asleep. She's asleep in this page, so she's gonna keep the same pose, or just similar pose. I'm gonna adjust it a bit every now and then to make it seem like she's moving in her sleep or changing expressions and stuff, because she's not a statue. I'm definitely gonna make sure that it's, uh, f for those who are into that type of thing, a fun page to look through. But this isn't a very lewd page. It's kinda lewd though. The concept is more lewd than anything. But it's not going to be as lewd as some of the other stuff I got cooking with them. I thought I'd do some of the soft stuff first, like the refrigerator one and this one. She's eating all the cute. Bunny logo, someone said. You got it. What you can also do is you can try to find, instead of just doing a white thing, you can do a white bunny like this. I forgot, I mean, what's her logo again? It's, it's like a rabbit, right? With like fucking X for eyes? I don't fucking remember. I don't care. Something like this. Fuck it. Hey, Mr. Seal13. Thanks for the bits, my dude. Hey, my dude. And then you do an overlay right th like this, and then it kind of blends in with the rest because it's an overlay layer. You can also make the overlay a bit like this. 
Mr. Seal 13, very generous man. I appreciate it, dude. Make her roar. Make her roar like this. Uh, how does roar work again? God. Look, this is roar. This is roar. When they have like, they ate someone, they have a really big tummy. That's why she's making that face. That's war. And also with the fingers. The fingers are another thing I studied actually. And uh, these these right here look terrible. But when you look when you think about fingers, how it is, and you gotta think of where's the thumb? The thumb is always located on the inside here unless the hand is flipped. Like the thumb is always usually located oh god, someone's calling me for Hello? Fuck, guys, I got, I gotta go, I gotta go, uh, gotta go pick it up. Came in much earlier than I thought, uh, so, uh, fuck, what was I saying about hands? I'm gonna, gonna wrap up this thought I had real quick about hands. I was explaining, these hands look really bad right now, but what, what you gotta do when you draw hands is, uh, you gotta think that the thumb is on the inside right here. I'm just gonna rush through this real quick. I'm gonna do it a bit better off screen. And then you gotta think about that in the other side where the thumb isn't located, there's a pinky finger, right? Obviously this all sounds like super fucking duh things, but when, you, when you're drawing things, it's sometimes easy to lose track of, you just gotta think logically, right? Like the pinky finger is the smallest, right? The pinky finger is gonna be the smallest, and then after the pinky finger, there's gonna be, be a big one, a big finger. But then, after the big finger, after the pinky finger, there's gonna be the middle finger, the fuck you finger. And because the fuck you likes to fuck, he's the biggest one. So, remember that the fuck you finger always is the biggest one, right? And then, the other one is exactly the same size as the friend of the fuck you finger. I mean, obviously it depends on the person, and average they're the same size, but uh, they're... They're usually a little bit shorter, and depending on the detail of your drawing, you can add that nuance. In this drawing, it doesn't matter that much because it's not going to be that detailed. So just think about it roughly the same size, can make it a little bit smaller if you want. And then, you got to think about how fingers are structured. You know how fingers can bend twice? There's going to be one bend, and then two bends. You see where these bends are? There's going to be one bend here, and one bend uh, where it's kind of... It's not really in the middle of the finger, it's more like kind of towards the end of it. It's not, it's more in the middle than towards the end, but it's not the perfect middle, if that makes fucking sense. Hey Mr. Seal, thanks a lot for the gifted subs. Hey guys, thanks a lot for all the subs in general today. Sorry if I ignored some of them. It's just sometimes hard to keep up while trying to draw, and I don't have a, a sound effect for the sub button. So if I ignored any subs, I really didn't mean to. But thanks a lot, Mr. Seal. And then you also gotta think of the knuckles. The knuckles then also come. And because like, this hand right, these hands right here, they're gonna be kind of like bent towards forwards. So you also gotta keep 
uh, perspective and foreshortening in mind. So if they're kind of like bent like this, this part is going to appear a bit shorter because of the foreshortening. I'm probably fucking explaining this horribly. I'm trying to fucking just run through this. Ah, oh, God. And then what you then can do, like, what I usually like to do is instead of drawing those, instead of drawing those lines, I mean, or those uh, joints, those finger joints, is that what you call them? Joints? Also, the, the, the little finger is much smaller. I drew it way too big here. Luckily, we can just adjust that like that. Easy peasy, squeezy. Like this. It's fucking fixed. Kind of. Not really. Hey, and thanks for the Twitch Prime there, my dude. Inked Overseer. And then we, we take the... The lighter layer, like the lighter part. And depending on where the sun is coming from. Like she's going to be having more sun over here. And like that, you'll be able to tell that it's kind of like bent inwards like that. You know? You see what I'm saying? Like you can tell without me actually having to draw the line that the fingers are bent like this. And obviously this is all super fucking blunt and simple and without fucking drawing like I have the hand of a dwarf from Lord of the Rings who usually mines for gold and ores and has no fucking idea what fi the finer things are in life. But I'll do it more nuance next time she she's also kind of wearing a glove here so actually the hand would clearly go all the way back like this and then you could like kind of factor in the knuckles and all that but she's wearing gloves here and as you can see from before like this is how the hand looked like before we it looks a lot better now would you agree like it looks a lot more like a hand now that's kind of how you like construct things out of paintings. There's still work to be done with this hand, obviously. One of the things I think we could really do is we could grab the whole hand and then with the thumb and then make it a bit bigger so it, there's a better hand to head ratio. Because I made her head uh, kind of cartoonishly bigger. We can make her hands a bit cartoonishly bigger. But not too big, not, that, not so she's like a TF2 character. I don't want her to look like that. I think that's a fair size. And you didn't have to obviously go in and do the same thing to this other hand right here. I could also now draw a logo on her shirt, make that logo curve, do the tummy better justice so you can actually see the flat tummy muscles better because that's what flat tummies are all about, not this fucking crap, whatever this is. What I'm trying to say is, don't think this is how I would leave a drawing even though I'm fucking about to head out. Don't think I would be just fucking leaving this as is. It would be so much to do still. So much to do! But yeah. Yeah, sorry about the stream today. Not only did I fucking cut it out quickly, I'm now also just heading off really early. And barely got any progress done on Starfire at all, which is the whole fucking point of this fucking stream. When I'm gonna be back? I'm gonna be uh, back to streaming. I'll try to be back. If I can get the page out tomorrow, I'll be back to streaming tomorrow evening. If I can get the page out tomorrow. If not, I'm gonna power through it and finish it over. I just not go to sleep until I finish it. But I do think I should be able to get it done in a reasonable time that I can stream. And thanks for some bits there, my dude. Appreciate it, Marcos98. But if not, I'll definitely be back to streaming again on Saturday, okay? I'm gonna have all new stuff to work on. See, in the next stream, I wanna make sure that this is done by the time I stream the next time. This whole page is done. And you know what? It's actually really fun making these little random sketches. This is completely unplanned on stream and kinda building it up together. I think that was this was actually oddly fun. This is oddly fun in a weird way. Oh yeah, I an overseer. That is you're so right. If if you have that, I can so relate to that, my dude.
Her belly button right now looks really scuffed, but I was just trying to find the uh, place for it. You could kind of add it in like this. See, in tummy muscles, they go a certain way. I could, man, I would really like to get into tummy muscles right now. They're, they're, they're sexy muscles. They're fun, sexy muscles, believe me. And I have also really started to study them, try to understand them better. But I would have to start, a lot of this would have to be redrawn in order to get them right. So I just can't do it right now, guys. We'll do it next time with a different drawing. But yeah, next page is going to be this whole uh, Raven stuff. Ra whole mess of Raven shit coming out. Hopefully tomorrow if I can finish it. Sorry about the weird stream today. Marcus98. Dude, it's a lot of gifted subs, my dude. And I hope Jeff gets to see the... Uh, and yeah, thanks for the gifted sub. I hope Jeff gets to see the Tina thing on the site, if he checks the site tomorrow. If not, I might also just upload it to Twitter at some point as a little sketch. But I mean, do you guys mind when I sometimes upload sketches and unfinished stuff to Twitter? Because I did notice there's like a huge expectation that whenever I post to Twitter, it's a new page or a new like finished thing. It's something large, something new and large, which it unfortunately isn't all the time. Just keep in mind, I'm going to try to make all the pages something new and large, but I can't make all the sketches new and large. I mean, all the Twitter posts and stuff if you want to post little things. Anyways, guys, I'm going to head off. I hope I have a better stream next time. We can actually show some better shit next time. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Thanks so much for checking in into this short little stream.